Hi, parents and families. Uh, my name is Lauren Qualls, and I am a kindergarten teacher here at Lang. And I am excited to talk to you about one of our areas of curriculum called Hegarty. And this is a phon phonemic awareness curriculum that we practice daily in the classroom. So I'll tell you just a little bit about the overview of Hegarty. Like I said, it is a daily practice and it does not have a written component. So it's something that is all done through spoken word um, and it's designed to improve our students reading, spelling, and writing skills so that as the students are learning to hear specific sounds in words. Uh, my experience, I have used this program for several years and I am definitely thrilled with the progress that it has helped my students make. Um, so it's definitely a worthwhile practice and a great benefit is that it is also only a 10 to 12 minute part of our day, um, sometimes even shorter than that. So it is a very short part of our day that packs a huge punch into students' uh, language development. Their participation in this program is super important because as students are learning how to manipulate sounds and um, use them in their writing and reading, it's extra important that they are participating so that they can hear um, and notice the changes in those sounds. So I'll tell you a little bit more about what it looks and sounds like. There are 10 areas that we work on each day in that short time. Uh, so eight phonemic awareness activities that I'll chat about in just a second. And then daily let it, letter or sound practice. So we're doing flashcards with uh, letters and sounds. And there's also some sort of word or sentence, some sort of language um, activity that improves their language awareness. So oftentimes towards the end of the year, that looks like a, day, a weekly nursery rhyme. Uh, that they're practicing. So phonemic awareness activities include rhyming, um, identifying the parts of sounds in a word, changing or deleting parts, and blending as well. So I'll go through each of those little points and talk about an example so that you can kind of see what it sounds like in our classrooms as we're practicing phonemic awareness. So the rhyming we have in a couple different stages. At the beginning, we talk about what rhyming words are, and we provide some concrete examples. So students are repeating words like dog, log, or frog, or I guess that rhymes too, <laughs> frog, log. Um, so those are just some ways that we provide them with concrete examples of things that do rhyme. So once that skill is kind of covered, then we talk about is it a rhyming pair or is it not a rhyming pair? So I'll tell our students, give me a thumbs up if it rhymes, a thumbs down if it does not, and I'll say a word, you, we. Do those two rhyme? They don't, so we give a thumbs down. And then I'll provide another word pair, bag, tag. Those ones rhyme, so we give a thumbs up. So that's how we begin rhyming and transition to a different and more difficult part of rhyming. And finally, we do rhyming words where we provide one word and the children have to give us words that rhyme with that example word. So if I gave the word frog, then they would give me dog, log, bog, all those different words that rhyme with frog. So after we do that rhyming practice, we'll move on to identifying parts of a word. So at the beginning of the year, we're getting children to recognize the first sound of a word. So if I say the word mouse, they would say mouse, mmm, because there's an M at the beginning. And we never ask for the letter, we're always asking for the sound. So if a child is saying mouse, M, they've kind of skipped past that sound. We want them to just tell us that sound. So mouse, mmm, or top, t, that kind of thing. So that's the beginning of words that we identify. We also do some fun practice to identify an ending sound next. So beginning sounds, and then we cover ending sounds. And to do that, we often have the children punch it up, such as this. If I were to say the word ball, I would say ball, ball, ooh. And I'm looking for that ending sound of the word when I punch it up. We also talk about the middle sound of a word, and that middle sound we like to I like to do a little roller coaster with. So with the word top, I would go t a p. So students are able to isolate each of the sounds in a word. So we make it fun, and it keeps children engaged, um, so that we can get that great language awareness practice in. Um, we also practice adding and deleting and changing parts of a word. So at the beginning of the year, this looks like taking apart compound words, such as the word snowman. If I say snowman, take away snow, what part of the word is left? Man. 
Likewise, if I want them to change a part of a word, if I give them the word snowman, change snow to mail, and they have to think of what that new word would be. The new word is mailman. So that just gets their uh, brain activated for that language awareness activity of substituting parts of a word, because later in the year, we do that with sounds. So if I said the word lip, take away ol, they would have to recognize that the ending two sounds are ip. Or if I have them say lip, take away p, then they, that one's a little bit harder. They say li and leave off that ending sound. Um, so those are a great foundation to when we eventually begin blending. Uh, so if we were to blend that word lip, it would sound like ol, i, p, lip. So then they are able to better uh, incorporate that into their writing. Um, like, like I said, we are doing this right now with compound words at the beginning of the year. So students take apart and put together words such as the word inside. Inside, inside. Or they take it apart. Inside, inside. So it is a quick, like I said, practice that we blow through each day. Uh, but it is really important to our development here in kindergarten. Um, like I mentioned before, it does really improve writing and reading skills as we do this uh, vocal activity each day. Um, it familiarizes students with that action of breaking apart, changing, and manipulating words and putting them back together based on the sounds that they hear. Um, and the group of skills that we cover in phonemic awareness are hugely contributing to reading success as students go throughout uh, their early years of school. So I included a writing example here that kind of shows what we're, what these skills are helping us to achieve here in the early stages of kindergarten. So this child tried to draw a, they drew a bear, and then they wanted to write that word next to it. So you can see that they got two sounds there. They got the beginning b and the ending er sound. That is a really great example of how Hegarty is able to incorporate into our writing because if the students are kind of lost on where to begin with writing, then we can say, okay, your word is bear, first sound, and they know first sound, b, b, okay, I can write that. And then they can punch it up to get that last sound, their word is bear, so we go bear, -er -er. And they've got two sounds already. So that's a really great start for a kindergarten writer um, and something that we want to praise and acknowledge as an important step in their writing. Um, that is everything uh, information-wise on Hegarty from me. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. If you have any questions about this Hegarty curriculum, be sure to reach out to your child's teacher and they can give you some more information. Thanks so much.